so I'm going to share uh, a kind of a, a, a formula with you that I think has a lot of value. And uh, it comes from, you know, I read a lot, and, and people send me things they think would be <clears throat> interesting for me and, and might uh, dovetail with what I do. And there's a book written by a professor out of uh, Pepperdine University called Character is Destiny. And I'm sure that this, this, uh, these statements came from some uh, religious uh, writing back in the day somewhere. But uh, it was the first time that I had, <clears throat> had really became familiar with them. And uh, when you don't have a lot of time, in fact, we designed a videotape training series for at-risk youth using this uh, formula, and we shot it at the in, uh, in uh, Flint uh, Job Corps Center. Uh, we were working with the Flint metal, metal Fab Plant at that time, and we shot this series in the Flint uh, Job Corps Center and called it Seeds to Success for Young People. The first statement I th is uh, one that we all kind of understand. If you sow a thought, you reap an act. You sow a thought, you sow thoughts of anger, you reap acts of anger. You sow thoughts of love, you reap acts of love. You sow thoughts of jealousy, you reap acts of jealousy. And so we sow those thoughts and we reap acts. The second step is if you sow an act, you reap a habit. As you sow an act, you reap a habit. I remember, you know, beginning out sowing thoughts of honesty. I'm an honest human being and always follow through on my commitments. So I'd sow that thought and gradually and incrementally honesty becomes a habit. And I was driving down to Oregon one time, and I stopped at a, at a uh, smoke shop, because at that time a smoked cigar. Now, people have gotten me to stop dang near everything that is enjoyable. You know, a uh, few things I still do. I've got to have a pill. But, I mean, that, that, that is, uh, but anyway, uh, uh, I stopped to buy some cigars. And I went in to buy some cigars, and, and I gave the guy my credit card, and uh, he ran the credit card receipt, and I bought about forty dollars worth of cigars, and went over to meet my wife for lunch, and and before we was driving down to Oregon, and I just happened to look at the credit card receipt, and the guy only charged me twelve dollars. So I went back to the to the smoke shop when I finished lunch. I said we're going to swing by the show, smoke shop because the guy made a mistake. Then I went in, I gave him the receipt, and I said you made a mistake. You only charged me twelve dollars. It's about forty dollars worth of cigars. So he corrected, and he said I really appreciate that. Thank you a lot for coming back. He said a lot of people wouldn't have done that. I didn't tell him this, there is no option. Honesty isn't just when it's convenient. Honesty is a habit, just as much as, as, as dishonesty is. Honesty is a habit. I, I, you know, I don't know how not to be honest. <laughs> you sow a thought, you reap an act. You sow an act, you reap a habit. You sow a habit, you reap a character. You sow a habit, you reap a character. Now the character in this format would be called a self-image. It's who you are. So you sow the act, you reap a character. You sow the character, you reap a destiny. You sow the character, you reap a destiny. But when you come back full circle, it all starts with the thoughts that we sow. And so when you start planting seeds and people start understanding that they do have some control over what they think about, and you, sow, you start sowing those thoughts, you start, the acts start happening, and so you, you so thoughts, I am really creative at finding, catching people doing things right. And so you just start sowing that thought, and you walk through the plant, and just all of a sudden something gets through your awareness that somebody's doing something right, and you stop and say, God, I really appreciate the way you did that. And it just becomes a habit. So coming back one more time, you sow a thought, you reap an act. You sow an act, you reap a habit. You sow a habit, you reap a character. You sow a character, you reap a destiny. But it starts with the thoughts that we sow. And that's a habit. The way that we think is a habit. 